In a developing story, State Superintendent Ryan Walter says Dr. Deborah Giss should no longer serve as the superintendent of Tulsa Public Schools. In a news conference today at the Tulsa County Republican Party headquarters, Walters heavily criticized TPS, citing problems like low reading proficiency and financial mismanagement. Walters made his dislike for Dr. Giss clear, comparing her leadership of the district to a bus driver who has crashed. In the last seven years, we've continued to see failed leadership from Superintendent Gist here in Tulsa. That bus has veered off the road, that bus has gone into a ditch, and now that bus has crashed right into a tree. The state school board won't take any action, however, on TPS's accreditation until August 24th, but there's still talk about Walters wanting to downgrade the district's accreditation to the point where Gist's license is revoked and he will get to handpick a new TPS superintendent. And our continuing coverage on the other side, a crowd showed up at tonight's Tulsa Public School Board meeting to support Dr. Giss. Fox 23's Alex Cash was there. She's live now with what Dr. Giss has to say in response to Walter's claims. This meeting was completely packed out. Hundreds of people turned up. There was even an overflow room that so many people turned out to this meeting. And the meeting is still going on behind those doors over there. And just to give you an idea of how long this has been going on for, the meeting started at 6.30 this evening. Now, speaking here tonight, Dr. Giz spoke at length for over an hour, answering questions and speaking out against claims that Walters made today. Dr. Giff's Gist was given a standing ovation. About three quarters of the room uh, gave her a standing ovation as she walked in to the Board of Education meeting earlier on. Now, during the meeting, she spoke out against some of Walters' claims. Board President Stacey Woolley said it was important for people to know the facts around what she called, quote, the vitriol and rhetoric, and said those comments came from someone who is supposed to have the best interests of every single student in the state of Oklahoma. Dr. Giss said their financial reporting was to a high standard and also asked if Walters had offered his support to board members or TPS staff. Board member Elena Ashley was the only person who said he had. This is what Dr. Giss said in response to Walters' statement earlier on. I would like to just put it back to the board to See if you have um, questions about that, what was reported, and I can fill you in with the truth. Now, the meeting earlier on followed a rally that was held here before the meeting. That was held by a group who'd also organized a petition that they said uh, supported what they called baseless attacks on TPS. They were speaking out against those, uh, what they said, baseless attacks on TPS. The protesters told me it was important to speak out and they said they want a locally controlled school board. They also say they're worried about the 33,000 students that are supposed to be heading back to school next week. Covering News That Matters, I'm Alex Cash, Fox 23 News.